Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunerie Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunerie Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Learn more at labrunery.com or by calling 573-449-5313. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, July the 2nd. I've got uh, Katie Hayes with us, Columbia Entertainment Company. Good to have you here, Katie. Thanks, Paul. And you're here because you're so excited about what's coming up this year with CEC, right? That's right. It's our 40th season. 40? Yes. 40 years uh, here in Columbia. I can't believe that. Columbia Entertainment's been around 40 years. That's right. And we've got eight shows coming up this season as opposed to our regular five or six. Yeah. So we're going big this year. How long ago did you move into the current location? Um, Gosh, well, we've paid off our mortgage a few years ago. So it's been, I guess, at least... 30 years. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was thinking maybe 15 or 20 years, but time goes so, by fast. maybe 20 years. <laughs> but anyway, you're in a beautiful <laughs> yeah. location. Nellwood, you've got how many shows this season? We've got eight. Okay. Yeah. Go, just All go right, ahead just, and run through right, what they quick. are. All right. So we've got Cabaret in September, and then Agnes of God is in November. Uh, for Christmas, we've got It's a Wonderful Life, the uh, live radio play. Uh, and then in January, we have Peter and the Star Catcher. Uh, Almost Maine, it's a series of love stories for uh, February, and then Noises Off, uh, the comedy is in April, and then Hairspray is in June, and then just for a fun season closer, we're doing Midsummer Night's Dream uh, in the summer of 2019. Okay, oh, yeah. well, you you planned far ahead of time. Yes. <laughs> so wh- why why are you doing more shows than you had in the past? How well, is that coming about? It's a big anniversary year, uh, and so we wanted to do something a little extra. Uh, so we've got the three musicals. Um, well, Peter and the Star Catcher is a play with song, so it's kind of a musical kind yeah. of a play. Uh, and we wanted to throw in a couple other smaller shows, too, just so that we're almost never dark. Uh, there's something going on almost every single month. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. I, mean, I still find it hard to believe that it has been 40 years with CEC. Yeah. It's, uh, I've been with the company since 2008, so I've been here for 10 years, and I, I can't imagine Yeah, uh, And you just longer. stepped down yeah. as the artistic director. That's right. I just had CEC. a baby two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> so Something the baby's taking a little bit of time. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's hard yeah. to be an artistic director and a mama at the same time. Right. I can only have two full-time jobs. I can have a mom and then a job that pays. So something else had to... <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Got it. Yeah. Well, it, you, you've got, uh, you've got a, a wonderful season coming up. You've yeah. had 40... 39 great years, and we wish you That's continued right. success. Oh, so if people want more information about what's going on at CEC, the best way to do this is to go to their website, right? Yes, or on Facebook. Uh, we're very active on Facebook also. Okay. But the website is uh, CEC Theater with an R-E dot org. Got it. Okay. And then you can find us on Facebook by just doing a search for CEC. Just go to Facebook and put CEC and mm-hmm. you'll get all the information on there too. Yes. Katie, thank you so much for coming well, thank by. thank you. Okay, yeah. pleasure having right. you. Thanks. And uh, good luck with being the mom. All right. Full yeah. time. All right. <laughs> so again, if you want more information on CEC, celebrating their 40th year, you can go uh, to CEC Theater. And theater, as she said, is spelled with the R-E dot org. And you'll get all the information you need. Okay? Now I want to introduce you to Scout Mary. And this is the first time Scout's been with us. Good to have you here. Yeah, it's great to be here. I like that first name, Scout. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and you're with Service for Independent Living. Yes. Uh, some people may not be familiar with what this organization is. Uh, it, it, it really is a very important and helpful organization for Central Missouri. T- but explain. Yeah, we, um, we're around to serve people with disabilities. We have a variety of services, um, core services, including advocacy, peer support, independent living skills, um, transition. We do lots of things for, for a wide variety of uh, people with disabilities. Um, 
I run the Access Services Department. The Access Services mm -hmm. Department. What right. is that? Well, um, I run a demonstration center. So a lot of times if people um, have a changing disability or perhaps acquire a, an injury or a disability, they don't know they don't know what they don't know. They don't know what's out there. They don't know what's right for them. And so they can come to me and we can just look at things and try to figure out what is going to keep them safe, keep them independent, um, keep them doing the things they want to do in their daily lives. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a lot of what I do is provide information about assistive technology, about durable medical equipment, things like that for, for whatever a need whatever the need right. might be. And a lot of times you have the medical equipment available right. that you can let people use, yes. correct? Yes, yeah. so the other side of my program is really a reuse program. So the community in Columbia is such a wealthy you know, community of giving, um, thoughtful people. And so people donate equipment that they no longer need to us and we give it out for people to use for a short-term need or a long-term need free of charge. Yeah, that's very nice. So somebody listening to us or watching, if you have used, for, for example, if you had to use a, a walker for a period exactly. of time or even a shower chair, you'll, yes. take, a, you'll take a shower chair, yes. right? Yes, yes. Uh, any type of equipment that you have needed to help yourself get around the house, if you no longer need it, you can take it to service for independent living. They will gladly accept it and then share it with someone else. Exactly. And it's all, it's all free. It's a service that we feel like is um, really needed in the community. And we are, we are so glad to be able to offer this. Yeah. To the community. So what is what are some of the items that you could use right now? Uh, we always need shower chairs, transfer benches. Um, we regularly take in canes and walkers. Right now, I'm actually low on walkers. Um, we we take in just about anything. We um, we utilize other organizations. If we get something we can't use, um, we might take it to pet. Uh, which is another great organization in town. Um, so we really tried not to turn anything away. We have great partnerships uh, across the community. Um, and, and, and anyone, like anyone in Missouri, can come and get equipment from us. Okay. So again, if you have equipment that you <laughs> were using that you no longer need, you can make a donation and you'll help somebody. But on the other hand, if there's something that you need and perhaps you can't afford to buy it yourself. Or you just need a loan or you just need it for a short time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you need a walker for just a short period of time, yeah. you can give them a call or go down and perhaps they'll be able to help you. It's Service for Independent Living. What's your website? It is um, silcolumbia.org. Silcolumbia.org or the phone number? 573-874-1646. Uh, 874-1646. Thank you very much, Scout. Thank Appreciate you, it. And come back again, all right? Something you'd like to hear or see, I'd love to hear from you. Pepper P. Missouri.edu. Bye-bye.